when you think about the media lies that we've been seeing over the past 48 hours, particularly around this dam explosion um, in in Russia on the Russian side, it has been it has been amplified. And uh, over the past 48 hours, we've been hearing from the Ukrainian side that they have taken control of certain key cities in the Belgorod region, which is about a thousand kilometers away from where that dam explosion unfolded. And so Ukraine, if you watch Ukraine social media, you watch Ukraine media, they will tell you that they are now, they have now taken over uh, some key cities. So Patrick Lancaster uh, decided to go and find out and go right to this area where, think about how incredibly dangerous this is. I'm gonna go right to the city where apparently Ukraine says they are now in control and find out the truth. He was hearing that this was not the truth And so he wanted to go see for himself, as a journalist should do. Again, the mainstream media narrative on all of this is that, yes, Ukraine has secured this town. And Patrick Lancaster went to find out the truth on this, and he filed this report for Redacted. I'm Patrick Lancaster, and we have uh, just arrived in the village of Nouvelle Tolzhonka, uh, which is uh, currently uh, reported by Ukrainian pro-Ukrainian forces as under, uh, at least part of it, under control of uh, uh, them. But we're here uh, to go in and show you exactly what the situation is. It's a very dis- dangerous situation, and we need to move fast. So here we go. <laughs> Uh, all right, so right now we've moved on uh, to I'm Patrick Lancaster, and right now we're in the village of Nuvi uh, Tolgonke, uh, just on the edge of what Ukraine says that uh, Ukraine and pro-Ukrainian forces are controlling. Okay. Где мы сейчас находимся? Сейчас. Подожди, Пуга... как? Пугачева. Пугачева улица. А, населенный пункт? Ну, Таволжанка считается. Таволжанка это считается, да. Там дальше город уже прошел. Какая сейчас здесь ситуация? Не знаю. Не знаю, но прилетают. Конечно. Военных, ви... военных видите здесь? Украинских военных? Нет, нет. нет. Здесь Украинских нету. Нет. Нет. Как здесь обстановка сейчас? Там живем нормально. Нормально. Вода есть, газа нет, света нет. нет. Генератор работает. Кем работали? Кто по, по профессии? Ой, миллион профессий. А какие? Это токарем, кем только не работали. А жены где ваши? Жена далеко. Разведенной. А, а, а живете рядышком? Да? Живем, да, вот мы рядом. Через улицу. Ну, 10 минут как бы отсюда, отсюда осталось. А где живете? В подвале? Нет. Да, ну да. какой подвал? Ну, проговорите сразу, что... Дома. Нет, в доме, доме живем, а как? Э, как правильно сказал это э, место? Ну, ну, это Волжанка. Ну, ну это Волжанка, да. Uh, so we've come to this village, as you heard of, Nuvi Tolzhonka, uh, from Patrick Lancaster. And this is a territory that Ukraine, Ukrainian forces are claiming partial control of, uh, if not this exact uh, spot, very close to here. And we're here to show you what the real situation is on the ground. Now we're going to move a little bit forward. All right, we're going directly towards the front line. All right, this is very difficult situation because uh, both sides are claiming control of in this area, but as we see right now, this area is controlled by the uh, Russian forces, there's no doubt about that, we haven't seen any Ukrainians, and the locals here uh, tell us that they haven't seen any either. Um, 
So there's, there's no question that this territory in Russia is controlled by uh, Russia. And information coming from the Ukrainian side that uh, disputes that is obviously incorrect. Well, there's a fire too. He gone. Что там? He gone. Поворачивайся, парни. Не надо рисковать. Да. Все. Здесь свежий ваш. Это там ничего знаю. All right, so we just look up the straight street directly towards the uh, border of. Uh, Ukraine and it's unclear what is up that uh, road so we're uh, taking it safe and uh, turning back a little bit just because we don't want to risk uh, risk our lives for an unnecessary road but we're here in the territory that Ukraine and pro-Ukraine forces are claiming as under control uh, of them and not Russian forces so we're confirming this territory is under control of Russian forces, and there's no question about that. Ukraine is putting out lies about the situation of the front line. Boy, and big fire. I'm not sure if it really comes out clear with the camera how intensely dangerous the situation is right now. As we see in this village, no left, and we're on the edge. So, it's not really a situation right now, but we're showing you exactly what the situation is on the ground here. All right, this is the center of the town. It's like a ghost town at this point. I'm showing you everything we can. So we've done what we can to show you the real situation on the ground as we always do. We've shown you what's being reported in the Ukrainian media is not true, not the case. We've shown you exactly what the real situation is. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, we're independent crowdfunding journalists. You can support our work with the link on the screen or in the description. We're out. So thank you to Patrick for that report for Redacted. Uh, as you can see, so again, this was coming from Ukrainian media, Ukrainian telegram channels and social media saying that they had taken control of the city, that the Ukrainian forces were there. Um, the locals saying that's not the case. And again, no Western journalists there, no one covering that. Uh, so again, this is about a thousand miles from where that dam explosion happened in the Belgorod region, which has been under constant shelling 
um, over the past uh, couple of weeks there. So thank you to Patrick for that report. And thank you all of you for supporting independent journalism um, and, uh, and being able to get the, get the news out that the Western media will not cover and uh, absolutely does not cover these stories. So thank you guys for that support on that. Thank you so much for watching this segment here at Redacted. We are live every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time trying to share the stories that the mainstream media will not cover. You should also come over and join our community of Redacted Rebels over at redacted.inc. That's our private locals community where we can share exclusive content that we simply cannot share here on YouTube. Come over and join the rebellion together right now by going to redacted.inc. We'll see you next time.